What up, y'all? This is your boy, Lucia Guy, and I'm back with another video. I do want to say that this MLW Azteca episode, there was not much at all for me to even talk about or even discuss. I mean, this is an average show. I wouldn't even give this a high score. Like, out of 10, like, out of 10, I'd probably get us a five and a half or something, like, barely even, barely a six, and that's being generous. I mean, I, I don't know. I wasn't, the only good thing about the match was the LAX re reboot guys, what do you call them, 5150, but, um, versus uh, Edo Star and Drago. And then there's the only thing I want to talk about in that match was I noticed when Edo Star and Drago came out, the announcers, the commentators, are still downplaying Lucha Underground. They said that, oh, word is, you know, from Caesar doing the Edo Star and Drago, their former trio champion um, in the Boyle Heights Underground Fight Club area or something. Like, they didn't mention Lucha Underground, basically. They just said that Edo Star and Drago are former trios tag champions in the Boyle Heights Underground Fight Club circuit or something like that. But they didn't say Lucha Underground at all. Like, and it's like weird. Why did they mention it when Mil Mortez debuted it? Speaking of which, where's Mil Mortez? Where's Matanza? Where's Katrina? They debuted all these Lucha Underground people. Now, MLW Azteca, they haven't, I haven't even seen at all of Katrina. No, we haven't seen Matanza at all a part of this. I assume maybe travel issues. This is why when Aztec Underground happens, a real deal. It needs to happen somewhere near the border, at least Texas. Because I don't know, maybe they could get in more, like, because they can find luchadors here in America now. They don't got to be from Mexico now. They can find luchadors all over the place. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully when Ad, ML, like the real Azteca Underground starts, it'll be here in America because, I don't know, this is kind of seeming like a big mess. I, I was just, I, this show was not, like, great at all. It, it might have been one of the most boring ones the last two weeks. And I would have had another video planned for y'all, but unfortunately, I didn't write, I didn't get to write a lot of notes this week because I've been busy with work. So, yeah, I will do a, a different video next week. I might not even really even discuss much of MLW Azteca. I'll let you know if it's a good show or not next week, but there's some other stuff I want to talk about more about different WWE and AEW. But, um, yeah, y'all let me know down below. Y'all even, um, feeling MLW Azteca? What were y'all thoughts on this episode? And why y'all think they're not really mentioning Lucha Underground? And why did they do it at first with Mil Mortez? But let me know down below, y'all feeling this MLW Azteca? Because this is more definitely of MLW. This is definitely not gonna be, um, not, they, um, how's the spinoff of Lucha Underground? They're not even mentioning Lucha Underground. I mean, this is odd to me. I don't, like, what is this? Hopefully they're waiting for Conan to come um, they know to recover. He went through some heart surgery. And hopefully I'm assuming they're waiting for more IP and trademarks to come through from Lucha Libre F and V when they're done with the lawsuit with Triple A. Has that lawsuit shit is stupid. It stopped Triple A from um having shows in the States. Triple A can't even air in America right now. Y'all wonder why the YouTube channel disappeared. It's cause of Lucha Libre F and V. But y'all let me know down below. Y'all feeling MLW as Tekka so far. But um last I do want to discuss, because I don't want to make this all about that, because this video would have been is three minutes long, but I want to talk about you know the new um upcoming movie The Batman. If you like Batman, if you love the Batman, well you're gonna get three hours of them. Uh, uh, reportedly, this movie is gonna be three hours long. Are you gonna be sitting in the theaters that long? Are y'all excited for this? Cause me, it's not that many movies that um I'm even excited to see. I've been in the theaters the last two years due to the pandemic, and it ain't been much out. Now let me know down below, are y'all going to see the Batman? Are y'all excited for it? This is probably, for me, the most anticipated movie of the year. Because even look at these other comic book movies. I mean, I don't even know what's going on with Black Panther 2. I still can't believe the dude died R.P. Sherwood Bozeman. The last movie I seen in theaters was on 21 Bridges. But y'all let me know down below. Y'all even excited for, um, y'all even a comic book movie fan of y'all like uh, other movies. As far as even in the action thriller, you know, department, the drama department, I don't even know what movies are going to be coming out in that department as far as drama, action, and thrillers. But I'm out. Peace. This is your boy, Lucia. Got hit like a monster. Lucia, subscribe. It. Monster Lucia, sorry. Monster uh, slam that um, like and subscribe button. Right, monster Lucia, slam that like and subscribe button. And tell more Lucia Underground fans that want to know what's going on about my channel, all right? Because I'm trying to give y'all a scoop on what's going on with Lucia Underground. Peace.